so we talked to you. Hi. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. You've been here a long time waiting for me to get oh, here? Oh, my gosh. I've ever been. I tried to get here as fast as I could. Are you tired? Uh, I have stayed awake the entire time. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to talk to you, and I guess you said you wanted to talk to me. So, yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah, I want to. All right. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Yeah. You probably want to know what's going on with Gypsy. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to answer your questions for you. Did you get something to eat? Uh, no. They offered that to me. But you didn't eat? Uh, I ate something before that. Okay. What did you eat? Uh, uh, they're called ham sandwiches. I guess they uh, offer that with uh, mayonnaise as well. Oh. Do you like mayonnaise? Well, I don't like them with bologna, though, so she's not going to be mayonnaise, but not when I just have to long because that's it. I've been, like, so worried sick about Gypsy. Okay, we're going to talk um, about Gypsy. Yeah. We'll talk about Gypsy, okay? Okay. Um, because I know you got a lot of questions, and I want to answer your questions, and I want to talk to you, and, um... See what's going on? Okay. Okay? Before I do, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights. Have you ever been read your Miranda rights before? Uh, that sounds familiar. Sometimes they do it on TV. And the way I do it's going to be a little different than probably what you've seen on TV, but it's probably about the same. Okay? Okay. All right. Can you read and write? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions I already know the answers to, and that's one of them. I know you can read and write. So whenever I'm talking to you, I may ask you some questions I already know the answers to, okay? Um, okay? Will you pull out this top part for me? Sure. You got handcuffs on? Yes, I do. You care about, you want me to take them off? Would you be, be more comfortable? That would be a pleasure. Okay. Because I, these things Have you had them on a long time? I've had this the entire time. Okay. We'll take them uh, off so you can get a little more comfortable. <laughs> that probably feels a lot better, doesn't it? Oh, I have uh, been waiting for that for a long time. All right. Mm-hmm. It says Nicholas. You go by Nick, Nicholas, something different? Um, I prefer... Uh, Usually by my family, I'll be called Nicholas, but by friends and uh, other people, I usually be called Nicholas. What would you like for me to call you when I'm talking uh, to you? Nick. Nick, okay, I'll do it. Remind That's your address. Okay, my address. Oh, jeez. A little too much. I'm trying to think of... Uh, I include my uh, Big Ben and all the rest of... Is it just Big Ben? Is it? You just put Big Ben there. Okay. I could probably figure that out. Yeah. Big Ben... Is it Ben or Bend? Bend. Oh, okay. Bend is from the same. And then this right here is your date of birth? Uh, okay. Five, twenty-eight, nine. And how does that make you? 26. 26. Okay. <laughs> right here is schooling. So that is like, did you graduate high school? Or, yes. Okay. So That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So just put uh, HS or high school or something there just so that way I'll remember because sometimes I forget HS. things. So security. And then here is the date. Date. Uh, I, I lost track. It's been so long. it's the 16th. I don't have my phone with me. But um, I believe it is the 16th. Um, you know what? Let me go look real quick, okay? Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, please. All right. I'll, I'll go get the time and the date. Okay. Yeah. I said that I didn't want to talk to her. I've been wanting to talk to her for a while because I want to know what's going on. It is the six. Okay, okay. Oh, I need There you go. Right there. And it's June, right? Yeah, June 60. All right. So, six, sixteen, twenty-eighteen. All right. All right. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to read each one of these out loud to you. If you understand it, then just initial after it, okay? All right. All right. Before we ask you any questions, you have the right to, you must understand your rights. 
If you understand that, then, then put your initials right there. We'll go through each one of them together. Okay, because I don't... Well, I have a, a question. Yeah. If you can me ask. Um, is it okay if I put it right there after you read them all to me? We have to do them one at a time. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's just so I can make sure you understand each of them. Okay. Uh, just your initials. Yeah, just like that. Okay, the next one is you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. That's a little different than on TV, isn't it? Yeah, it will too. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before he asks you any questions and to have a lawyer with you during questioning. Right there. If you can't afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. That one goes right Okay, if you decide to answer questions now without a attorney present, you can stop answering questions at any time, okay? Okay. All right, sign right there, if you initial that, if you understand that. And can you read, Nicholas? Yeah. Another question I knew the answer to, but I went ahead and asked it. But if you can read this paragraph right here to me out loud, and if you understand it and agree with it, then you can sign this paper. Okay. Uh, I have... Okay. Uh, please forgive me for no. being away for so fine. long. You're fine. Okay. All right. I have read this uh, statement of my rights, and I understand what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I understand and know what I am doing. No promises or threats have been made to me, and no pressure or coercion. Coercion. I've never been able to say this word at I all. I know. Do you know what it means, though? Uh. Isn't it mean like a form of punishment? Yeah, or trickery or anything oh, okay, like that. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, coercion of any kind I've been used against me. If you understand and agree with it, then you can sign it. Uh, all right. Um, and then I've got to sign it, too. Okay. Oh, as a witness, okay. Yeah, they always <laughs> make us sign them, too. Uh, I always sign it as Nick. Because That's fine. The only way I know to sign it. All right, thank you, Nick. And you said I could call you Nick, right? Yep, yep. All right. All right. So I guess you have a lot of questions for me. You've been waiting to speak with me, right? That's yeah. what they said? At least uh, I, I lost track of how many hours. <laughs> okay. So um, I want to answer your questions, but I kind of want to uh, ask you some questions first. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, and then we can maybe good. take turns. Like I'll ask you some questions. You can ask me some questions. Is this yeah, it, it sounds fair to me. Okay. And that's what I want to do. I want to keep it fair. So if it ever seems like it's not fair, you just let me know, okay? Okay. 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 Um, so you said your name's Nicholas. Yes. And what is your middle name? It's Paul. Paul. And what is your last name? It's Scotty John. And how do you spell that? It's J-O-D-E-J-O-H-N. Okay. E-J-O-H-N. And you yep. said how old are you, Nick? I'm 26. 26. Where did you go to high school at? I went to high school at uh, Nathan Hale High School, which is in West Dallas, Wisconsin. Okay. So you haven't always lived where you live at now? Nope. When, how long have you lived in uh, Big Bend? Only once. Oh. Where, so before that, where did you live? Uh, I lived in Milwaukee, South. Okay. Is that a city or a county? Or it's a city. City? Okay. Yeah. Is that a big city? Uh, it's... Uh, it's a uh, city of Waukesha. Well, this is obviously the county of Waukesha, so, yeah. So they have a county named that and a city named that? <laughs> I bet that gets confusing. Oh, well, not me, because I'm actually born from that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So do you have any kids? Uh, no. No kids? No okay. kids. Okay. Um, I, I, as you can imagine, we've talked to Gypsy a lot yeah, tonight. because uh, it's been a, quite a wait. Yeah. So we've talked to her, and um, and she's told us a whole bunch of stuff that's happened to you guys. And so I kind of just want to talk to you and yeah. and yeah. start from the beginning, maybe, like how you guys met or whatever. You know, uh, is that can we start from where you guys yeah. met? Would that make you feel comfortable? I'm fine with that. Okay. Where did you guys meet? It was at a, a site called uh, ChristianForDatingFree.com. Okay. Is that like a dating site? Yeah, it's for okay. Christians, but it's meant to be free. Okay, so you don't have to pay any money for it. It's yeah. just a place you can go to to meet people? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And have you met a lot of people on there? Um, I met a couple others before I met her. Okay. 
Yeah. And what was, do you guys have like names or how does it, how do you know who you're talking to? Um, she, uh, when I talked to her, it was uh, where it actually had her name as I was reading it. So what is her name? Her name is Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. Yeah. Okay. And then what was your name whenever she was talking to you? Nicholas Gordy. I'm, I'm honest about it when I was online. So. Okay. Yeah. So you had your name and then she had her name. Yep. Yeah. And then you guys met on there. And yeah. then so once you met on there, what what happened? Um, we uh, got closer on there and we... Uh, connected more and more okay. and then we uh, got comfortable where we uh about like i don't, I don't know how to explain it it's like i we it's uh, the way that we clicked is it made it seem like uh we somehow just knew we were right for each other okay so we like what was it like four days i'd have to say four days later we uh started a relationship together okay yeah and so your relationship what kind of relationship was that that you guys started there was a uh one of those uh committed ones okay committed relationship. to each other committed yeah. to each other yeah. so you were on there looking for other people and she wasn't looking for other people yeah, exactly okay exactly so, and then, so did you guys start communicating other ways other than that website um Since you're a couple now yeah, we uh we tried to do a site called meetme.com. Okay. But uh that gets confusing because <laughs> there's so many I have so many friends on there. So. Okay. Um and then uh other than that, what else was it? There was a uh, they did do uh Facebook for a little while too. Facebook, okay. Yeah. And what is your your name on Facebook? It's uh it's my name is Hank Okay, and how about hers? Um well, actually, she got rid of hers recently. Okay. Uh, because uh, me and her, because uh, I don't know how much she told her. I hope she told you everything that I do know also. Okay. Um, apparently, from what she told me, her mom kicked her out of her house. Okay. So she uh, texted me to pick her up. Okay. And what happened was I uh, got on a bus about a day later, about in the afternoon of that day. Okay. And then I got back to, what was it? I believe it was Springfield. Is where it's okay. Was. Yeah, that's where it is. Because I'm all loopy from <laughs> Detroit. Okay. So long. Um, yeah, it was Springfield, Missouri. I, uh, as soon as I got there, I walked straight to a uh, hotel and then I let her know that I was at the hotel. Okay. So you got there on a bus. What kind of bus was it? It was a Greyhound bus. Okay. So you got to Springfield, Missouri on a Greyhound bus. Yep. And um, you walked straight to a hotel. Yep. Do you remember what that hotel was called? Yeah, it was uh, called uh, Days Inn. Days Inn. Okay. And that's in Springfield, Missouri? Yep. Okay. So you get off the bus and you walk straight to Days Inn. What kind of clothes are you wearing? Oh, jeez. I don't have a good enough memory at this okay. point. Okay. I can't remember. Was you wearing jeans or shorts or something? Um, I'm always wearing these athletic clothing. Athletic clothing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you get off. Do you have luggage with you or anything? Yes. yes. Okay. What kind of luggage do you have? I had uh, uh, my clothing. Okay. Uh, since I wasn't sure how long I was going to be there. Just, okay. I was worried sick about her when I got there to okay. where I wanted to find her as soon as possible. Okay. Because I knew she was wandering the streets. Okay. So I brought like three uh, days worth of clothing because I was going to do all I could to find her okay. at that point. And then what were you carrying your clothing in? It was a duffel bag. Oh, okay. What color? It was a red and black. Okay. Was it like a Nike or Adidas or? Um, my dad gave me his uh, uh, duffel bag. It's a marble, marble. Uh, you know, the cigar company marble. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, what kind of it is. It's one of those kind of double bags. Okay. And so, so you get to Springfield, so you're excited, you want to see her, so then yep. what do you do? Um, I text her, and then she, uh, I, there's obviously a lot of, like, free public Wi-Fi spots around there. So okay. Uh, I don't know where she texted me from, but she was able to find somewhere to text me from. Okay. And after that, uh, we would... Uh, periodically keep in touch okay um but and I, so you're texting from your phone yeah what is your cell phone number it's a uh, 262 uh-huh 
9008. Okay, what is hers? Uh, she wasn't using her phone number. She what was she using? She was using her uh, Yahoo uh, ID, which I have no clue what it is. Is that like Yahoo Messenger? Or what? Yeah, it's one of the messenger things they use texting for. So you can, from your phone, you can send her a message to that, and then she can send you a message yeah, back yeah. and forth, and you guys can chat with each other. Yeah. Okay. So she tells you that she's got kicked out. You're coming here, and you're coming to see her, and you're going to find her. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. And so you guys start communicating like that, and then what happens? And then uh, it wasn't until the 10th is when I was able to actually uh, get her to meet me. Okay. Uh, what happened was is I uh, told her uh, exactly where I was on the actual, what road it was okay. and everything else, where the actual hotel was. Okay. And uh, after that, um, she didn't really text me for a long time. I was confused and why. Okay. And then uh, as I'm going outside my hotel room, uh -huh. I ended up running into her. Okay. As, as I'm trying to go get an actual, like, soda. Okay. So, so you're going to get a soda and you just run right into her? <laughs> <laughs> it was right on the same level that my hotel room was on. Okay. Um, and then what happens? And then uh, I, I realize it's her, so I'm like, okay, I guess I open my door back up. And then I, because uh, apparently she uh, packed because she knew her mom was going to kick her out. Okay. And I had to bring all of her clothes and everything else back into my hotel room, so okay. this way she had somewhere to put it. Okay. And then after that, uh, I asked her if she wanted to get a soda with me, and then she walked with me. Where'd you go get a soda at? It was uh, an event machine that was outside. Okay. That the uh, hotel user provides. Okay. And then what happened? And then uh, me and her pretty much uh, stayed inside the hotel for pretty much the entire time. Okay. For my Because the thing is, it was my... Uh, bus ticket. Uh -huh. It was a round trip. So I, at first I thought I'd be able to get her back since she wanted to move in with me, obviously, because that's just when she's up here. But, um, yeah, uh, when she, uh, got a hold of me and then me and her actually went to the bus station, I learned that she actually couldn't get a bus with the same one that I already had. I had to read and do my actual schedule. Okay. So after that, I, uh, did it, I got it renewed for pretty much nothing, because it, it was free. Okay. And then I uh, helped her with her bus ticket afterward. Okay. Did you give her money for it, or? Uh, no, I, I paid for it for her. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then what happened? And then, uh, because the the one that was I had to change, uh -huh. because of that one was changed, uh, we ended up going back to the hotel. Okay. Just to uh, rest, okay. pretty much. Okay. And uh, we ordered food, and we were uh, pretty much just resting there because okay. we didn't know what else to do. Because okay. Was, Where did you order food from? Um, uh, one place was Domino's. Okay, and they delivered it to your room? Yep. Okay, so Domino's delivered to your room, and where else? And the other was uh, Papa John's. Papa John's, okay. Yep. And then did they both deliver on the 11th? No, no, no. Oh, okay. So we were on separate days. Okay. Uh, one time was uh, on the tenth. Okay. And the other was on the eleventh. And then okay. when I had to leave on the twelfth because that's what I rescheduled mine and hers for. Okay. Um, we were able to get the bus, but after we got on the bus, we had trouble getting all the way up here, pretty much because the bus in uh, Chicago. Uh, it was full, so we had to wait for a second bus. Okay. And, yeah, it was frustrating. Yeah, at least you guys were together, huh? Yeah, I agree. That's, that's I agree. good. Um, okay. So, did you guys go out anywhere to eat? Um, uh, we were thinking about doing it, but we figured it was safe because my mom, uh, she, she's a worry freak. She, you know, if she knows I'm in another state, she's in a way, uh, apparently for what she told me, she was a basket case while I was down there. Okay. Because she was so worried about me. But, um, she told me to stay in the hotel, and that's pretty much why I did it. Okay. Because she was just... Because oh, she told you to? Yeah, because she feared for my safety. Okay. Much. Okay. So, then you guys get on the bus, and then you guys get here, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you ride a Greyhound each time you went? Yeah, All the way yeah. To buses. there was no other uh, bus station. So where's the bus station stop at here? Uh, uh, here, it stopped in Milwaukee. Okay, and then how did you get from Milwaukee to your house in Big Ben? Uh, my mom picked us up. Oh, 
okay. So then you would you call mom and say, hey, we're here, come pick yeah, us up? Yeah. And so is that the first time that your mom ever met your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess she's your girlfriend. If she's your yeah, girlfriend. she is. Yeah, she and is. And you mom. love her? Oh, do I love her. You I was, love her a lot? I was bummed my eyes out waiting for her this moment to where I can talk to you. Okay. Because I was so worried about her. Yeah. Um, I think she loves you, too. Um, you know, we spoke to her and uh, for a long time. Um, and I'm kind of thinking maybe she loves you a little more than you love her. Because you're sitting here telling me things that I know aren't true. And then she's sitting here telling me things that are true. And if you really love her, I don't think it's, you would want her in that situation. Okay? The situation that she's in right now. Um, and so you... We're going to go down two paths here, okay? And that is just you're going to have to be honest with me. Uh -huh. Because if you love her, if you love Gypsy, then you're not going to let Gypsy get in trouble without you being there to help her, okay? I understand. And so what you need to know is that Gypsy told us everything. Okay. We didn't talk to Gypsy all this time and not get everything. Okay. That's what we do. Yeah. And so... Nick, I want you to do the honorable thing, okay, oh. for for Gypsy and for your family, okay, because oh. we know what happened. And um, I want to give you the opportunity to start over and to tell the truth, okay? And the truth is, is not what you've told me. I must have I thought I told you to believe it was the truth. Um, I believe the part that you got on a bus and went to Springfield. Okay. I believe that's true. Oh. Um. That you ordered food to eat? I believe that's true. Okay. Um, I believe that it's true that at some point Gypsy came back to with you to the motel. I yeah. believe that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe Gypsy got on a bus and came here with you. I believe yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's all I believe. Okay. Okay? Because you missed a lot in there. And I understand that you missed a lot because you're probably, you don't know what to say because you don't know what Gypsy said. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you right now, Gypsy did tell me everything. She told us everything. She told us about you coming there. That she told us what happened to mom. She told us about your guys' relationship. She told us about the cleanup. She told us about all of that. Um, okay? okay? So, do you want to um, do the right thing by Gypsy if you love her? Well, the truth is, I worship her, so I know um, there's do. no way, there's no way I wouldn't do it. Or I know. I, would think for her. I know you do. I believe you do, but this is the point where you're going to prove whether you do or not. Okay, we mean you talk. Okay. Okay, because it's not fair. It's not fair to Gypsy for her to be honest and you to, to you to lie. Okay. Mm. So I what I want to know is is um. Can you tell me this first? Okay. Did Gypsy know that you were going to kill her mother? Um, honestly, she asked me to. Okay. So, so Gypsy knew you were going to do it because Gypsy asked you to. Yes. Why did she ask you to do that? Because she felt it was her only way to be with me. Okay. She felt like if, if you killed the mom, then that's the only way she could be with you. Yeah. Do you know the mom's name? I don't know her real name. All I know is that she goes by Dee Dee. Dee Dee, okay. So, um, has, has Gypsy asked you to kill anyone else? No. Okay, she just wants you to kill her mom? Yes. Okay. And how did Gypsy ask you to do that? Did she ask you to do that in a text message, on a Facebook, or in person, or something different? Well, it was more than once. I mean, you had uh, uh, Facebook, um, we, we would talk about it on there, we would talk about it even on Texas. Okay. And what, what kind of things would Gypsy tell you that she wanted you to do? Uh, she wanted, uh, the thing is, is that I know she loves her mom a lot. I know she does. Yeah. Uh, I had to, well, I was up here with her, uh, and she felt guilty about the whole situation. I had to make sure she was safe. And meaning, like, I had to make sure she felt like she could be comforted by it. By and, you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Because, I, and then the truth is, okay, I'll admit it. I did actually stab her mom. I will admit it. I know. Okay. I, the only reason I did it is because I did it for me and her. That's the real reason I did it. I would have okay. never did it if it was not for me and her. Okay. So you wouldn't have done it if somebody else would have asked? No. 
Okay. There's no way I would have did for anyone else. Okay, so you just did. I truly do worship her to the point there's nothing I want to do for her. Okay. Okay. Well, I think you've proved that, right? Yes. I think that you've proved that, that you, you do what she asked you to do, if that's the case, if she did ask you. Yes, yeah, she did ask me. Okay, and she asked you more than once. Um, did she ask you why you were here? She asked me more than once because uh, what happened was, at first she wanted, because uh, the thing was is that she wanted to do it herself, but she was too, uh, what's the word, uh, that, not cautious, it's, uh, I guess skittish is the word I'm looking for. Okay. She didn't want to actually do it. Okay. Because she couldn't live with herself doing it. Okay. And um, as for um, me, I honestly to this day I still feel guilty about it. Okay. I do. I do. Right. Because I, I didn't. Because I, I learned so much about her mom after she told me and more and more about it after actually being able to live with her for a little while. Right. I actually realized how good of a mom she was. Okay. So it kind of makes you feel a little guilty. No, no, no. I feel a lot more guilt than that. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, because so Gypsy's telling you about her mom. Yeah. And then... Yeah, okay. how she is and, and uh, her accomplishments and all, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so when you came here to Springfield, that was your purpose to come here so that way you could do that for Gypsy? Yes, because I wanted to be with her and I okay. wanted... So did Gypsy know you was coming here then to go ahead and kill D? Yes. Okay. Um, so, why did you guys decide that you would stab her instead of shooting her with a gun or poisoning her or doing beating her with a bat? Like, why did you guys decide stabbing would be what you did to kill her? Um, honestly, uh, the thing is, is we really wouldn't have known how to poison her. Honestly, we wouldn't have known how to. Okay. Um, I mean, she looked up multiple times of how to do it, how to do it, because she wanted to find the quickest way to do it. Okay, so like she looked up on the internet, yes. like how to kill her mom? Yes. Okay. And so she was looking for the easiest way to do it? Yes, okay. this way she would be in less pain. She wanted okay. her mom's death to be quick. Okay. Okay, so you wouldn't have known how to do the poisoning. And so, um, again, why did we choose the knife? Like why The reason why we chose the knife is because I guess she thought that It'd be quicker if she bled out quickly. Okay. So now, did she tell you that, or is that something you think she thought? Most likely, that's what I would think she would Okay, but she didn't tell you to no. stab her because she'd bleed out quickly. No. Okay. That's what I figured she would think, because okay. it makes sense. More holes, faster they go away, and the faster they are at peace. Okay. So the more holes you put in into the body? Yeah. Is that what I'm understanding? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, so that's why you, you you chose to stab her. Yes. Okay. And so, how did you get the knife? Like, where'd the knife come from? Did yeah. you bring it with you from here? No, no. Okay. Did you buy it somewhere? She bought it for me. Who bought it for you? Uh, Gypsy. Where'd she buy it from? Online. She bought it online? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It was not online. I gotta get that straight. It's not... Yeah, don't lie, because you don't want to get Gypsy in trouble for something, because you're going to lie about it. Uh, I know. Okay. I know. Uh... She somehow found a way to get one uh, at Walmart. I don't know how she did, but she did. So when you got, so you didn't bring a knife from here? No. So when you got here, she had a knife? Yeah. So did she know you was going to stab her? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what did the knife look like? Um, it was, uh, it had a red and black handle. Red and black? Yeah. Okay. And how about how long was it? Uh, gosh. Um, Use your hands to show me. I can, maybe we'll look, maybe that long, maybe. Was the red and black handle plastic or wood or? Uh, it was, uh, I'm trying to think, squishy grip, I can't remember what it's it called. It was a squishy grip? Yeah, it, it's hard to really put into words. Okay, on the edge of the knife, like, if, if you, can you draw the knife for me, maybe? I'm a bad artist. You're a bad artist? Okay. Would the knife, like, okay, if the knife went, like, was the life smooth like this, or was it jaggedy like that? It was jaggedy. Jaggedy? On one side and on the other side it was smooth. Okay. And what color was that part of the knife? It was just the black. I mean, oh my gosh. I am so sleepy. Um, right. uh, it's, 
It was just the normal color of what a uh, blade usually looks like. Like stainless steel type yeah. look? Okay. Yeah. So like, see this edge of this table right here? Kind of like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what that looked like. And then the handle was red and black, kind of squishy. Mm. Okay. Could you hold the knife with one hand or did it take two hands to hold the knife? One hand. One hand? Yes. Okay. Have you ever stabbed anybody before this? No. That's the reason why uh, this was the very only one person I would ever do this for. Okay, only person you do it for is Gypsy. This is the first time you ever stabbed anybody. Yes. Okay, so when you're stabbing Dee, where is she at? She's on her stomach. On her stomach where? On the floor, in the bathtub, or somewhere different? On her, uh, on the, oh my gosh, I got it in my mind. Where, oh, I don't know in seconds. You're fine. Take your time. <sighs> she was on the bed. Her bed. Her bed. In her, in her bedroom? Yes. Okay. So was she sleeping on her stomach or just laying there watching TV or? Sleeping on her stomach. Okay. So she's laying in her bed sleeping on her stomach. Is she covered up with covers or uncovered or? Um, it, it actually when, when I did it, it seemed like, um, she had her, it was almost like a night going on, it seemed okay. like. And, uh, she barely even was covered at all. Okay. So okay. it was easy access to her party. Okay. So she wasn't have a, didn't have a bunch of covers on her. It made it a lot easier to yeah. do that. Okay. And um, so when she's laying there, where's the first place you decide to stab her? And uh, I just was in the random spot in the back. In the back, just random? Yes. Do you know how many times you stabbed her? Uh, four. You stabbed her four? Yeah, four times. Okay. The fourth one, I, I felt it go into, I think it might have been her lungs. Okay. Because it's was harder to get out. Okay. Did it take one hand to get it out? Two hands? Uh, I had to yank it out. Okay. With one hand. Okay. So it did. So the others came out easy, but this one, that one, kind of came out harder. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, you only stabbed her four times. Are you sure about that? Well, as as in stabbing, I stabbed her. Okay. Times. But I did actually cut her one other time besides that. Okay. Where'd you cut her at? On the back of her neck. Okay. And ha did you use the same knife that you yep. did the others with? Yeah. Okay. And <clears throat> when you did the cross the back of the neck, did that even cause an injury or did you see any blood or anything? Um, yeah, she was bleeding. Okay. She's bleeding. Um, and so did you, um, did she scream or holler or? Yeah, she did. What was she saying? Uh, First she said help, and then she didn't know, she didn't recognize who I was, and she okay. said, who are you, and then... She said, who are you? Yeah. Okay, and she didn't recognize who you are, and she says help, and then what does she say? And then she called up for Gypsy, but Gypsy didn't do anything. Okay. She hollered for Gypsy? Yes. And did she holler for Gypsy once, twice, five times? Three times. Three times? And what was she saying? Can you tell me how she said it? Um, she pretty much yelped it. Yelped it? This is like... Jackson. Okay. Yeah, she was loud. And what did you do when she did that? Uh, it didn't stop me from keep on going. Okay. You just kept stabbing her? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any reason that we would think that maybe you stabbed her more than four times? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Now, did Gypsy come in and stab her? No, no, no. Gypsy never stabbed she her? Couldn't, she couldn't do it. Okay. That's the reason why she asked me to. Okay. Did you try to get Gypsy to come in and stab her? No, I would have never done that. Okay. Um, so when you say four actual stabs, so those are the ones that went in deeper? Yeah. Was there some little ones? Or There, there might have been, because I, the truth is, I counted the, the ones that went in deep. I didn't count any other, if there's any other ones. Okay. So if there's any other ones, you just didn't count those because they didn't go in as deep? Yeah. Okay. But you know that four of them went in deep? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where those four deep ones were? Uh, Are you counting the one on the back of the neck or not in that four? No. Okay, so this the back of the neck would be something different. Yeah, it'd be completely separated. Okay, so the four that went in deep, do you remember where those went at on her body? Um, I honestly can't remember because I... I 
think it's just uh, a blockage because of the guilt. Okay. I can't okay. Remember. Sometimes there's things that we don't remember and that I'll understand that you don't remember, but you might re not remember something that's important that I know you remember, okay? okay? But that you might not remember, and I understand that because in the situation, okay? Um, no. So, when, where was Gypsy at when you were stabbing her? When you were stabbing Dee in the bed, where was Gypsy at? She was uh, hiding in the uh, bathroom. Okay. Why was she in the bathroom? Why was she hiding in the bathroom? Because uh, she didn't know if uh, her mom was going to kill me or not. Oh, okay. So she thought mom might kill you. Yes. Okay. Did she think mom had a weapon or? Um, uh, she didn't believe I could actually do it. That's what I think it was. Okay. She didn't, she didn't think that you would just go in there. And she, you, you don't know if she... Yeah, like, she, had confidence in you? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, yeah. She didn't think I was okay. capable of it. Well, who, whose decision was it for her to go in the bathroom while this was happening? Um, she said that, that that's what her she wanted to do. Okay. So I, I just let her do it. And okay. she locked the door behind her, so. Okay, so she went in the bathroom, locked the door, and and you went to do yeah. whatever you were doing. Do you remember, um, did Gypsy ever come out and see her mom? Uh, I wouldn't let her. You wouldn't let her go in there and see her? I didn't want her to be traumatized. Okay. Um, um, did you have sex with D? No. You didn't stick your penis anywhere on her? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Positive? I'm 100% positive. Okay. Uh, did you stick your penis in her mouth? Nope. Okay. Did your penis touch anywhere on D's body? Nope. Okay. Did your mouth touch anywhere on D's body? My mouth? No. Okay, you didn't kiss her or nope. lick her or anything like that? No. Nope. Okay. Um, did did Gypsy come in and do anything like that with her mom? No. Touch her mom's privates? Or? No, she wouldn't do that. Okay. No, she wouldn't. Okay. Um, all right. What do you think about people that have sex with dead bodies? It's quite disturbing, honestly. Okay. That's just, that would bother you? Yeah. Okay. I don't like necrophilia. Okay. Oh, that, is that an actual thing? What that, does that mean, necrophilia? Necrophilia actually means that I have sex with the dead. Okay. Have you ever known anybody to do that? Uh, no, I only know the word because uh, I tend to look up words that seem to be popular in today's culture. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, um. You you stabbed me in the bed, and Gypsy's in the bathroom, and so what happens after you're done stabbing D? I uh, knocked on the door, and I also scratched on the door <laughs> twice to let her know that was me instead of her mom. Oh, so is that a code you guys came up yeah. with? Okay, so what was the code again? It was t three knocks and then two scratches. Okay, three knocks, two scratches. And yeah. then that was so that way she would know in the bathroom. That, it would, that was so Gypsy would know that it was you and not her mom. Yep. Okay, and did you guys plan that out before? Uh, we, like I said, we went back and forth between more than one idea, but that would end up being the one that we sticked with. Okay, okay. Um, so... Um, after that happens, after you do the three knocks and the two scratches, does she open the door? Uh, not right away. Okay, what happens? She wanted to save uh, her private part okay. and uh, her legs. Okay, she wanted to save her private part and her legs? Yes, for me. Okay. Um, did she, has she ever done that before? Is this something new? Um, uh, usually her mom does not let her save her legs. Okay, so her mom doesn't let her shave her legs? Yeah. Does her mom let her shave her privates? Her, uh, her mom never seemed to care about that before. Okay. So, yeah. So, how did you know she wanted to do that for you? Um, uh, because uh, she, uh, well, she did it. Okay. That's how it's kind of... What did you do? Like, she's shaving her legs and stuff. I waited for her. Okay. And then she gets out of the bathroom? Is her legs shaved and everything's yeah. shaved? And then yeah. what happens? And then, uh... We uh, start to clean up uh, the ground and everything around. Okay. Clean up. What are you cleaning in the house? Uh, yes. You're like vacuuming and dusting and stuff like that? Uh, cleaning up uh, such as uh, anything that has memories of her. That's actually what we were doing. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Like anything that had, uh, uh, I mean, she took uh, some pictures away and she 
actually threw them in the trash. She okay. she tried to get rid of things that would uh, give you guys the idea that she really lives there. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what That's you're what, saying. Yeah, she, um, okay, so did, did you guys clean up any blood or anything? Yes. Okay, what kind of blood got cleaned up? I believe it must have been mine because I accidentally stabbed myself in the process. Where'd you stab yourself at? Right here. Oh my goodness, do you need stitches or anything? No, I've been holding it okay. <laughs> together. Is that time. the only place you got cut, or did you get cut other places? Um, I don't think well. Before I got rocked earlier, uh, there, there was a spot right, ironically, it's the very same spot they ended up hurting me yet again. Right what do you mean got hurt again, roughed up? What do you mean? Uh, when I, well, when they uh, arrested me, oh, they took okay. me to the ground, and that's reason why I have all the zombie. Okay. But, but did, that was an injury from when you stabbed D too, and then yeah, it just got re-injured whenever you... Yeah. Okay. And, and then that other one on your hand right there, that's the cut that you cut yourself? Yep. Okay, what are those up there? These up here are from uh, when I hit the ground, because I hit my face and my stomach and uh, part of my leg Okay. under the concrete. Okay, when they arrested you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So... Um, so when you guys are when you and uh, Gypsy are cleaning up the blood, are you helping Gypsy clean up the blood, or is just Gypsy doing it, or just you doing it? Uh, we uh, for a while we did it together. Okay. And then because she wanted to get it done faster, she did it herself. Okay. Afterward. And what did she do it with? Um, she uh, used a order. Uh, what the heck was it? It was like an a cleaner slash order remover. Okay. Do you remember what kind of bottle it was in? I was like a reddish bottle. Reddish bottle? Okay. And um, how do you use that to clean? Like, is that a spray? Is that a powder? Is it um, liquid? Or? It's a liquid. Okay. So you had to pour it down. She pour, or she pour it down? She poured it on top of wherever the blood was. Okay. And then she would use uh, either a uh, paper towel or... Uh, she never used any rags, surprisingly. But yeah, that's the main thing she used, was just a paper towel. Okay. That or um, there was also these wipes that she used. Okay, okay, and so um, he, she cleans up the mess, the the blood that may be yours because you can yeah. cut yourself. Yeah. Um, and then what happens? And then uh, she wanted to have sex with me, so I did. Okay, she wanted to have sex with you. Yes. Okay, and so where'd you guys have sex at? In her bedroom. In her bed. Her bed. In yes. Uh, Gypsy's bed. Yes. Okay. Um, and so you guys have sex. Yes. And what kind of sex? What What is sex like to you? Well, it's, well to me, uh, the, the kind of sex that it was, it was pretty much uh, it was 100% consensual is okay. what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, she, uh, I, Obviously, I was the one I was in charge, but she went along with it willingly. Okay. Yeah. And so, what did you guys do when you had sex? Um, uh, we pretty much did all three things. We did the anal. We did all, all. Okay. Yeah. So you you had anal sex with her. Yes. And then what's the other? I can't guess. Um. Uh. Oral. Uh. All, okay. Like I said, all of them. Um. Uh. Vagina. All. Of them. Okay. Okay. When you say oral, is that you? Providing oral sex to her and her providing oral sex to you, or both. Is it both? Okay. Both. And that happened in her bed. Yes. Okay. Um, do you know if this is the first time Gypsy ever had sex? Mm, actually, I do know if it is. Is it or not? It isn't. Okay. So she's had sex before she had sex with you. She's had sex with me. It's actually one who took her virginity. Oh, so you guys had sex a different time than this. Yes. Oh, when did that happen? It was uh. In a, uh, what the heck was it? It was a theater. In a theater? Yeah. In Springfield or somewhere different? Springfield. Wow, did her mom know? Um, <laughs> we kept it from her mom. Okay. <laughs> Where did you have sex at in the theater? It was in a bathroom. Okay, in a girl's bathroom or boy's bathroom? She just took me to the boy's bathroom. I didn't have any choice. I just went right into the boy's bathroom. I guess she's okay with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was, was that um, a year ago, two years ago? Um, How long ago was that? That was back in March. Back in March of? This year. Oh, okay. So you were in Springfield before. Yep. And did her mom know you were here? Uh, no, I got to meet her mom in person for the first time. 
And was her mom nice to you? Or yeah, she was really nice to me. And okay. then, I don't know what it was, but apparently the night got ruined in some way. I, I couldn't, I was trying to understand what was going on with her mom, but okay. I don't know exactly what happened. So did, did you meet her at the theater? Yeah, I did meet her, but I was waiting for her for quite some time before I did. Okay, okay. And then what happened after you guys had sex at the theater? Um, uh, we uh, went to our movie and watched it. And then what happened after the movie? And then I said, um, my goodbyes to her. Goodbye store? No, I, I said my goodbyes to her. Oh, say goodbyes to her. I was like, go to the store. Okay, so you said your goodbyes to her. And yeah. then you went your way and you went yeah. back home? How did yeah. you get here that time? Um, she got me the money. She gave you money? Yep. How did you get the money? Oh, she sent it in the mail. Okay. So, was it cash that she sent you? Yes. Or, okay. And how much did she send you? Uh, that time I believe it was 400 because she wasn't sure how much I was going to need. Okay. So, she sent you $400? Yeah. Okay. And, um, uh, did she send you money this time for you to come? Uh, yeah. And how much did she send you this time? Uh, same number, actually. 400 Okay. Yeah. And then she just sent it to you in the mail on cash? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And then, so, so, let's go back to the time that you guys just had sex. Um, what, do you remember what day that was? I can't remember the day. Okay. You don't remember if it was a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Saturday? Oh, gosh. Um, if I had to guess... Is you it, don't have to guess. If you don't know the answer, you don't have to give me an answer. I would say Tuesday. Okay. If I had to guess. Okay, if you had to guess, you'd say it was a Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, was she... Did Gypsy enjoy the sex? Like, or was she telling you to leave her alone? No, no. She didn't tell me to leave her alone. Okay. It was very consensual. I mean, she... At first, the... Uh, she uh, pushed me a little bit away because she wasn't sure how rough I was going to be. Okay. But then after that, I, I reassured her that everything was fine. And okay. after that, she just gave in because she knew that I was okay. not going to hurt her. Okay. So then she just gave in and just Yeah. Cause, did. Okay. Cause, yeah. What was she wearing when you guys had sex? Uh, it was a, a, a dress. It was like a, a Cinderella dress. Okay. So that's, that's the movie we were seeing. Okay. Together. So... She had a Cinderella dress on? Yeah. And what color was that? Uh, it was a, like a lightest blue and it had, uh, like, uh, white onto it also. Okay. Yeah. Um, did she have a wig on or no wig? Yes, or wig. What, what color was her wig? Her wig was, uh, blonde. Blonde. Okay. And, um, did she have that on when she was in the bathroom? Yes. Waiting for you to stab D? Oh, no, no. No, she didn't have it on then? No, she had a different wig on at that time. Okay, so the Cinderella dress thing, was that when you were at the movies or yes. was that at her? Okay, yeah. okay, so when you were at the movies with her having sex, she had a Cinderella dress on and a blonde wig. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but when you had sex with her at her house, what was she wearing this this time? Uh, it was uh, like a really dark brunette uh, like wig. It was pretty long. Right? Okay. Yeah. And what kind of clothing did she have on? Um, me and her did it... Uh, Naked. Okay. Did she have clothes on before you guys got naked? Um, not really, because she was uh in the bath. Remember, I told you she yeah. was in the bathtub doing that, and she stayed naked the entire time because of it. Okay. So she shaved her legs and her vagina, right? Yeah. And then she comes out, and then she cleans. Is she still naked when she's cleaning? Yeah, she 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 did the entire thing. She she felt like she was in a rush, so she just did the entire thing. Okay, did it naked. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, then you guys decide you're going to have sex. Yeah. And then you go into her bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Is her bed got blankets on it? Is her bed on the floor? What kind of bed does she have? Um, it was, uh, the biggest thing I can remember about her bed is that it was full, and I mean full of stuffed animals. Okay. Gosh. How did you guys have sex on the bed if there's a bunch of stuffed animals? We, we threw a little bit off of it. Okay. We were just, Throwing them off onto the floor? Or? Yeah, yeah, onto the floor because there's too much uh, of it on there. I mean, okay. the, the ones that was like part um, a pillow, but part also a stuffed animal at the same time, we left that on the bed just, okay. just in case she needed any comfort with it. Was there, um, was, now was Dee making any noise or was Dee dead by then? She was 
Probably long gone by then. Long gone by then, by the yeah. time you guys are having sex? Yes. Okay. And um, so um, when you have sex, do you ejaculate? Like the um, semen come out of your penis? I uh, I think I may have like too much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, stamina or endurance or something like that because okay. it takes her a lot to even get me close. Okay, so it takes a long time for you to get there. Yeah. Did you get there that day, that night? No. Okay, so you, you didn't, you wasn't able to nope, ejaculate? Not, not that time. Okay. Was you, at that time during the movie theater, was you able to? I uh, was, I got close to, but I didn't actually able, I wasn't able to do it though. Okay. I got close. Okay, did you, and so you got close, did you get close this time at the house? Um, no, actually I didn't get as close as I thought I was going to it. Okay. I barely felt any pleasure, actually. Okay. Alright, is there a reason you didn't feel pleasure? Uh, I don't know, it's really hard to say. Is was the time before, like, when I first took a uh, virginity, uh -huh. Um, we had a uh, condom on at the time. Okay. And I wasn't used to them at all. It was the very first time actually I ever wore one. Okay. So we buy that. Uh, it must have like messed me up to where I'm not used to, because I haven't had sex for a very long time. Right. Okay. And ever since that time, I pretty much forgot like how to pace myself and all the rest of that. Okay. So yeah. Okay. When you say you forgot how to pace yourself, what does that mean? Meaning I uh, didn't know how to pace myself in a way where I would be able to build up the actual pleasure. Oh, okay. In a constant motion. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, so you didn't ejaculate while you were at their house? Nope. Okay, so how, when does the sex come to an end? Like, what? how did you determine, okay, we've reached the point where we're done having sex? Um, I did make her uh, have an orgasm once. Okay. And then after that, I... She might have blew me a little bit, and then after that, I think we stopped because uh, we realized there's a lot of packing and stuff to do. Okay. And what do you mean when you say blew me? Uh, blew me meaning like uh, she uh, gave me a little jab. Okay. Is that putting her mouth on her pe on your penis? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So after that, um, and you guys decide, okay, now we've got packing to do. What do you guys do then after you have sex? Uh, we uh, packed clothes, we packed uh, movies, we packed whatever uh, she thought that we would uh, like need pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What kind of movies did you guys take? Um, she took some seasons of like um, some uh, like uh, TV shows. Okay. Do you know what kind of TV shows they were? Um, uh, I'm a big TV fan, so I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one was uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, okay. Uh, what other ones were there? I know she took classes in True Blood also. I uh, can't remember the, the other ones offhand. Okay. There's more of them I can't remember. Okay. Now. And so what do you guys pack the stuff into? Um, a, oh, what the heck? A suitcase. Okay. A suitcase. And what color is the suitcase? It's pink. Okay. And so everything fits in this one suitcase that you guys are taking? Uh, no, no. <laughs> we also took a, oh, what is it? A backpack. A backpack? Okay. What kind of backpack was it? Uh, it was black. Uh, I forgot what it said. It had something on the back of it. I forgot what it said, though. Okay. All right. So you take the backpack and you take you pack all the stuff into the um, uh, suitcase, and then what do you guys do? And then uh, we do we finish cleaning whatever else is left to try to get rid of my food, my fingerprints and everything else like that. Okay. So. How do you get rid of fingerprints and stuff? Like, what do you do? Uh, she used uh, uh, a defect, a defect, defectant wipe. Okay. And she uh, pretty much patted down wherever she thought I might have my hands. Okay. And did you tell her to do that, or did she just do that? She did it because she was uh, afraid of me getting caught, even though I had a weird feeling I was going to get caught, but yeah. You did have a weird feeling you were going to get caught? Mm -hmm. What What gave you that weird feeling? I just had this feeling in my stomach that it happened, and I was, I, I was, I was just thinking it was only a matter of time for it happens. I wasn't sure when it was going to happen, I just knew it was going to. Okay, all right. Well, you seem like a pretty honorable person, and you love Gypsy, so, I mean. Well, that's the thing. I, uh, I admitted to the thing is, me and Gypsy have cried multiple times. Together over this? Yes. Okay. And I've told her this will haunt me for the rest of my life, because it's the truth, they will. Okay. Well, you're doing the right thing now, so. You should at least give yourself credit. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, okay, so um, 
you guys get everything packed up, yes. and then she wipes down the fingerprints or whatever. Do you help her? Uh, no, I do not because I don't want to use any of my, any chances of me getting any fingerprints anywhere else. Okay. So I let her do the rest of it just so I don't make any more for her to clean pretty much. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Now, in their house, is their house really clean and neat, or is it... Um, uh, no, it is not neat at all. It's not? I, that was the first time ever in their house, and I can't believe how much the pigsty it was. Oh, okay. What do you, when you say pigsty, what do you mean? I mean, uh, there was one room where it was hard to even get into the room, how much okay. was in it. Then, uh, Dee Dee's bedroom, there was stuff on, along where the, uh, the, where the bed is, you got the bed, then you got pretty much where the edge of the bed is. Okay. That's where she had all the different things just all over there. Okay. I it's just, I don't know how else to put it, but like, I mean, she might have had like uh, clothing and all different things in there. Okay. Do you remember the, ever seeing a Barney, a Barney doll or a, Barney. it's like a purple dinosaur? Yeah, yeah. Where did you see that at? <sighs> Uh, it's not in there. Like this one, I was in her room. Was in, I think it was in Gypsy's room. In Gypsy's room? That's what I remember. Okay. But do you do, you do remember seeing a purple dinosaur? The Barney dinosaur or whatever? Well, I know she did watch it, but I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking about this now. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't remember seeing one now. You don't? Okay. No, I don't remember seeing one. Okay. Um, I'm not thinking about it. Okay. Um, okay, so you guys get everything packed. She wipes down the fingerprints. And then what do you guys do? Uh, we uh, get a taxi and we get to the hotel from the taxi. Okay. Um, where does the taxi come to? Um, to the uh, address of, of her house. Okay, so you call the taxi, or does she call the taxi? I called it because I was the only one that had to do it. Okay, and then do you give them the address? Yeah. Okay, and so they you give them the address and they come to the house. Do you remember what day that was and what time it was? Uh, it was in the morning, uh, really, really like early in the morning. I remember the sun coming up so okay so you guys didn't sleep there at the house where he no. was at okay no. so you remember the sun was coming up and you called the taxi yeah okay and so when the taxi comes what color is the taxi it's uh yellow okay and is there a male or a female driving man or a woman oh uh, if you can't remember that's fine I can't remember. Okay. It, it, it's just okay. Different. So you do you both get in the taxi with the luggage? Yep. And then where and where does the taxi take you? Back to my hotel. Room. Hotel. And how much did they charge you? Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember the exact amount. Okay. But then did you pay for the taxi? Yeah. Okay. And then you guys get out of the taxi, and then what do you do? And then we uh, obviously we paid for it, and then we went up to my bedroom, or you know my. What room was you in? Uh, at the time when uh, we did this, it was 227. What was it? The room was, the number was 227 at the time. 227, okay. So, you go up to the room, then what happens? And then uh, we uh, set everything in the uh, area to where it was easy to move, maneuver around the bedroom of okay. the hotel. Okay. And um, then we uh, just uh, relax at... Um, uh, on top of the bed. Okay. We, uh, did you guys have sex again? Uh, we did, but we didn't do it right away. Okay. Something that we didn't talk about that we probably should is, um, I've worked cases where people have stabbed people to death before, okay. kind of like this. Yeah. And usually when they do, they don't just get cuts, but they usually get blood on them. Like you get blood on your clothing or on your hands or yeah. you know how probably when you were stabbing her was blood kind of splattering a little bit or anything? Um, I didn't pay attention to exactly where the blood, I mean I could actually see like where the back of the neck was. Okay. I could see blood coming out of there. Okay. And I could see blood coming off the knife, but other than that I didn't really know exactly where it was. Did you get any of her blood on you? Uh, yes. And how did you clean that up? I didn't even clean it because it's, uh, we were in such a rush. I didn't even clean. So you had blood on your body when you had sex mm -hmm. with Gypsy? No, I had it on uh, 
a album tag. I don't actually remember what I wear. Okay, what did you wear? Uh, I wear a, um, uh, it was like a, what the heck is it called? Uh, I think, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, but I think it's called a uh, spring jacket, almost like. It was uh, black. Okay. And I also had a black shirt on, as well as black pants. Okay. What, did your black shirt have anything on it? Yeah. Or just plain black? It had uh, clowns on it. Oh, okay. Was it like a band or a... No, it was a... They they pretty much looked like uh, uh, crazy clowns, pretty much. Okay. And then you had black pants on? Yeah. And what kind of shoes did you have on? White. Shoes. Are those shoes here? No. No? They're at the house? No. Okay. And so you had the black jacket, the clown shirt, black no. clown shirt, black pants, and tennis shoes. Yep. And what color were the tennis shoes again? White. White. Okay. Did you have any jewelry on? Any earrings, necklaces? No. Don't look like you. You don't have your ears pierced, do you? No. No. Okay. So, all right. So you go um, to the room. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was thinking, oh, we never talked about that. So we That's okay. about that. Um, okay. So you go to the room, and you're up in the room, and you guys are relaxing on top of the covers. Is that what you said? Yep. Okay. And then what do you do? And then... Uh, while we were relaxing, um, we uh, cuddled for a while. Okay. And then uh, while we were cuddling, we were talking, but I honestly I can't remember the entire conversation. Okay. Um, did you guys talk about your future? What were your plans for your future? Um, we wanted to uh, uh, have a family together, and we wanted to uh, um, build a life together, and so we thought we really had a chance to do it, so okay. we were happy about that. Okay. At any time during any of this whole situation that's happened, did um, Gypsy ever have to be in a wheelchair? Um, yes. Okay. When was that? That was uh, only when she was living at home. Okay. Otherwise, uh, me and maybe like six other, no, five, I would have to say five, five other people knew that she could walk. Oh, okay. Why did nobody know she could walk? Uh, her mom, uh, wanted everyone thinking that she was like 16 the entire time, so, okay. yeah, she felt kind of trapped uh, on a, a wheelchair when she, when I actually was trying to encourage her to be able to walk more and more and more. Okay, so, she can actually walk. Yep. And stand and do everything. Yep. But her mom wanted her to, to use the wheelchair and pretend yep. like she was 16. Yeah, 16 and disabled, yes. Okay. So what would she do to pretend like she's disabled? Oh, gosh. I can't even answer that question because I, I've i only been around her one time when she's in her wheelchair. Okay. And other than that one time, I mean, it's one of those one wheelchairs where it's motorized. Okay. And uh, the thing moves fast. But other than that, <laughs> that's okay. all I really know. Okay. So, so she can walk everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So when she was with you this whole time, she hasn't had to have a wheelchair? Nope. She can walk upstairs? Yep. Walk, walk downstairs? Walk downstairs, upstairs. Okay. Okay. So, um, all right. So you guys cuddle, you lay in the bed. Are you talking about having a family then? Yeah. Okay. What do you do with your clothes that you had on? Um, me and her, we, uh, we weren't sure how uh, long we were going to be awake. So we uh, both got naked and we both uh, got uh, really, really intimate and pretty much like snuggled together okay. for a while. Okay. And, and that led to more sex. Okay. So was I, you able to ejaculate that time? Oh, no. I had trouble the entire time I was in Springfield. Okay. Okay. So um, where did you do with the knife? Um, we uh, wanted to uh, mail it. Okay. To my house. Okay. So did you mail it? Yes. Okay. Did it come? Has it came yet? Uh, okay. And what did you do with it when you got it at your house? Well, we were uh, planning on hiding it, so we didn't try to hide it. Okay. Where did you hide it at? It's in uh, my closet. Okay. In your bedroom in your house? Yes. Okay. And so you just, what, what kind of package did you put it in to mail it to your to your house? Uh, I believe it's called bubble wrap. Oh, uh, yeah. That clear plastic stuff? It's like that, but okay. it has a brown, uh, like a brown Where did you get that it. stuff at to mail it? Uh, Gypsy had that all set up. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had that already all set up. So she had, she had uh, more than one of those to use. She put it in two of them. 
Okay. And then, so she put it in there, put your ad did you write your address or she write your address? She wrote it down. I have no, I have no more that good of penmanship. Okay. So she writes the address on it and then you guys mail it to your house. Yep. Okay. Whose idea was that? Well, it was actually both of ours because we were thinking about like getting rid of it permanently over time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so you mail it to your house and who gets it out of the mail? You, her, or your mom, or who? Uh, my stepdad ended up getting it and he didn't know that's what it was. What did he do with it? He uh, just told me that uh, Patrick's got to uh, me and she would walk up upstairs with it like uh, everything was fine. Okay, they didn't even have a clue. Yeah. Okay, and so did you take it, the knife out of the package or did you leave it in the package? Leave it in the package. And then, so, so you guys decided, oh, we'll hide it in the closet? Yeah. Okay, and then, so where did you hide it at in the closet? Uh, the last place that I put it before I came here was, uh, it's in the deep, uh, Deep corner, I'm trying to see if I can think of my... Okay, how about this? Like, I'm looking at your... Let's say me and you are standing here looking at that, and that's your closet. Okay. Um, it would be in the deep uh, right corner okay. of the closet. So if I went in your closet, it would go deep right corner like yep. that. Okay. Is it, and it's still in the package, and the package is not opened? Yep. Okay. And um, what do you mean, like, right before you came here? So did... Did something happen to make you want to move it from one spot to another? Yeah, because I thought it was not safe where it was. Okay, so where was it the first time? The first time it was uh, just on top of one of my shelves in the uh, closet. Okay. And, and, it was, then, and it was visible, so that's what made me want to move it. Okay, and so you just moved it back there? Yeah. Okay. And um, um, so you did that. So what did you guys do with your clothes? Um. Uh, she didn't really have to worry about anything with uh, hers because none got on her. Okay. But uh, for me, I uh, I haven't even washed my clothes yet. Okay. You haven't even washed them? No. Where are they at? They're in my duffel bag still. In your bedroom? Yeah. Okay. And what kind of duffel bag do you have? Did we talk about that already? Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. Um, so the clothes are st is still in the duffel bag in the bedroom? Yes. Okay. Um, and your shoes are in your bedroom? Yes. Okay. So, um, okay. So you, do you guys just wear these clothes on the bus ride? Um, do you change or? Uh, we did change. Uh, I mean, each day, since I had like three days worth of clothes, I did change each day. Okay. And then uh, the last uh, uh, pair that I had of clothes or outfit, I guess you would call it. I just wear that on the bus and read the bus the entire way there. Okay. Um, did you guys ever go to a Waffle House to eat? Yes. Okay, because I thought she said that, that you guys went to Waffle House and eat. Yeah. Um, and is that Waffle House close to the hotel in Spring there in Springfield, Missouri? It's right next to it. Right next to it. Okay. And do you remember what day it was that you guys went there or what time it was? All I know is it's really early in the morning, mm -hmm. and uh, actually I might even go get a time. It was, a, I would say, about maybe like around 8 a.m., I would say. Okay. And uh, the only reason I remember this so well is because uh, I learned, uh, not really learned, it's more like we learned it, that uh, she is, uh, uh, what is it, uh, I'm trying to think of the, what it is that when you uh, are, uh, you can't drink milk. What is that called? Uh, lactose intolerant? Yes, that's what she is. Okay. Lactose intolerant. Okay. And so you relearned that that at this restaurant? Yeah, because she forgot oh. to warn me again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so um, you eat at that restaurant. Do you remember what you ordered? Uh, the uh, I had a, uh, what was it? It was like a steak and cheese omelet is what I ate. Okay. And I didn't eat really much of anything else that, that I got on there. I think I had like a, a, a raisin uh, toast. Okay. Raisin toast. And then, um, what else? I'm trying to think here. Oh, come on. Uh, I, I ate a little bit of uh, hash browns also. Okay. Um, at that, when you were at that restaurant, was that the day that, that morning that you guys, or that you killed D, or was that the um, next day, or... What day was that? Gosh, that's the only thing I don't remember. I don't remember the exact day. Okay. I don't remember the time. Okay. Um, but would it be fair to say that it was either the 9th, 10th, 11th, 
somewhere in there? It's somewhere in there. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. So you did that. Um, what day did you guys leave to come back here? The 12th. The 12th. Okay. And that was the whole ticket thing that you couldn't yep. get the ticket? No. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let's talk about this. When did you, like when you came to Springfield, you went ahead and got the hotel. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Before yes. you went? How did you get from the hotel to her house? By a taxi. Okay. So you had a taxi pick you up at the hotel and drop you off at her house? Yes. And what day was that? Do you remember? It was in the morning, I believe. It was on the 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yes. On the morning. So you went there. And um, is that the day that you killed D? Yes. At the same time? So, that, so the taxi brings you from the hotel to her yeah. house. And what's D doing? Does she care that you're there? Well, she she is not even aware that, that I'm there because she's sleeping to me. Okay, so do you go into the house, or does Gypsy come outside, or how does that? She let me in. She let you in the house. Yes. Okay. Did you ever go in that shed? Shed. There's like a shed on that property. Did oh you no. Okay, you didn't no. go in there. Did you ever get in their vehicle? No. That vehicle there. So, so you get dropped off by the taxi, and Gypsy lets you in. Yep. Okay, and when you get there, do you already know that you're going to kill D? I, I, I pretty much. I, at that point, I'm. Uh, I made my mind up that it's the only option at that point. Okay. So I just went right for it, and I had a, a latex gloves on and something like that. Okay. So uh, to try to hide my fingerprints. Okay. Did you bring the latex gloves? No, she uh, provided them for me. Okay. So when you get there, you put the gloves on. Yes. Okay. You put the gloves on outside the house or inside the house? Inside. No, I. Uh, it was outside the house, but I, as I was walking in, I had them just... So did you and her talk outside before you went in the house? I, I did uh, whisper, because it was part of our plan, and, and she's the one that thought of that part okay. of the plan. Okay. I told her to get her butt into the bathroom because that's what she wanted to do, and I okay. reminded her to get to it right away because I wanted to get this over with and get out of there as soon as possible. Okay, so when you get there, she has the latex gloves or the gloves. What color are they? Um... They're like a, uh, it's like a cross between like a, a bluish green. It's like okay. it's almost like a turquoise color. I must like. Okay. So Did she give you one glove, two gloves? Two. Two. Okay. So you put the gloves on, and then what do you do? Um. After that, uh, she hands me the knife, and then uh, I take care of the. Rest. Now, does she have gloves on her hands when she hands you the knife, or not? Her fingerprints are on the knife. Her fingerprints will be on the knife? Yes. Okay. Because she didn't have gloves on then, huh? Yes. Okay. So so she hands you the knife. Yes. And then then what happens? Then she uh, goes straight into the bathroom, locks the door, and she waits for my signal to let her know that everything's clear. And the signal was the three knocks, knocks and two, two scratches. scratches. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, did you make her shave her legs and her vagina? Did you tell her that you wanted her to go in there and shave her legs and her vagina? I think it was a combination of both of us. Okay. I mean, I wanted her to. Right. I'll, I'll be honest, I did want her to. Okay. But I think she wanted to do it also because she wanted to make sure that she pleased me, made me happy. Okay. So, yeah. So, what kind of sex do you like? Like, what kind of sex do you like to have? Is it sex like that's where it's the hugging and kissing sex? Or is it the sex where it's a little bit rough? Or is it the sex that you are really violent? Um, me and her, uh, that's actually, that's the thing I guess you, I'm glad you actually asked me that because, um, me and her uh, have been experimenting between all those, pretty much all three of those, right? those sexes. Okay. And, uh, uh, the only thing is, is that she knows I would never hit her. Okay. So, even, uh, with, uh, like, me getting really, really rough to her, it may hurt. She has gotten better and better at adjusting to it. Okay. To the point she actually enjoys it. Okay. So, yeah. When you say really, really rough, what does that mean? Meaning almost to the point it's violent, kind of rough. Okay, so um, I can't assume or guess anything. So when you say violent or rough, is that is what what happens to make that like that? 
Like, I, are you biting her? Are you punching her? Are you? No, no, I would never lay my hands on okay. her. Okay, are you choking not. her? Are you pinching her? Uh, no, I would not pinch her either. Okay, see, I don't understand. I don't understand what it is. You have to explain it to me. What, what rough is? Um, I, I didn't even bite her at all. Actually, that not for a long time. That is. Um, now I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Um, it, it was pretty much to the point where I would use all my force into it, pretty much. That's okay. the way to put it. Like thrusting into yes. her? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, would would um, there be any reason that she would have bruises on her arms or her legs? Yes, because uh, she wanted me to mark my territory. Okay. Mark your territory. Yeah. She asked you to mark your territory? Yeah. She actually... Uh, no, the first time. You know it's okay if you if you're the one that asked. You don't think that that there's no crime there. If you add, if you're the one that's wanting to do this and she's agreeing to it, there's no problem with that. So there's no need for you to like. I don't know. lie to me and say no, no, she I'm wanted not. it. If she didn't, it's okay if you wanted it. I know, I know, okay. but I'll, I'm not, but I'm just telling you how how it actually was. Okay. Which was um, the very first time she whispered in your ear uh, that that was a turn on of hers is buddy. Okay. And that's when I bit. What part of her was I? I don't. Cause I don't. It, oh my gosh. Cause only I only remember the, the I bit her twice. Okay. The first time I can't remember. The second time I can remember though because I bit her a lot harder in the second time. Okay. However, uh, she seems to still enjoy it even when it was really hard. Okay. So we were going to talk about how she got these bruises on her arm and her legs. Yeah. How did that happen? When you're marking your territory, how are you marking your territory? Well, when, uh, well, for, oh, her arms and the uh, bruises. Is that the one I, um, see if I can remember exactly where one was. One was right here. This is where I bit her. I know for a fact it's on, it's like on this side. If, okay. If I'm thinking correctly. Okay. Yeah, it's on that side. It, it's permanent. Um, okay. And then I, uh, I think I was trying to give her hickeys on her body as well. Okay. That's the other thing I was trying to do. Okay. And how about her knees or her legs? Why would there be any bruises there? It must have been because she was crawling on the ground when she was trying to clean up everything. That's actually where that came from. Okay. Did you make her crawl on the ground? Was that a turn on for you? Or um, there, Well, at first uh, I asked her to do it because okay. it was a turn on. Okay. And uh, they did a turn on, but after that uh, she just did it because... She found it easier to clean because she was at a uh, perfect eye level to be able to find it all what she had to clean up as quickly okay. as she could. Like she was naked? Yeah. Well, okay. Stuff, yes. Okay. All right. So, just so we understand each other, like if you tell me that you made her do something sexual, I, that's not going to bother me, okay? Okay. So be honest with me. Okay. If, if that's a turn on, if, if the things we talk about is a turn on and that's how that something's happened, that's okay. We can talk about that, okay? okay? So, just like that with her knees, you you told her to do that, right? Yeah, at first I, I told her to do it because I, I, I always thought it was um, something that would be a turn on, and when she actually did it, it, it did turn me on. Okay, okay. Um, do, you, do you think it would be a turn on to have sex with her mom? Mm. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Because I think one of the things that she might have said was that you had mentioned that you'd like to rape her mom. Yeah, at one point I was thinking about it. Okay. I did actually mention that I was thinking about it, but then I changed my mind because I've, I felt bad for just the whole situation of having to kill her mom in general. Okay. So I decided to just kill her quickly. Okay, kill her quickly. How long do you think it was that you were stabbing her? Oh, Maybe five minutes, maybe. Okay. Okay. Um, and did she ever, did D ever get an opportunity to punch you or hit you or anything? She was, she was trying to grab on to me, but okay. I was able to get myself free to finish. And I think you said that she had a nightgown on or something yeah, like that? Yeah. Um, did she have any panties on? No. Okay. And how did you know she didn't have any panties on? Because uh, that's the last thing I saw before I got off of her body and... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so was you actually physically up on her body when you were stabbing her? Yeah. Or was, I was you standing I was, on the side of the bed? Like, if this is the bed and, and she's laying here, how were you on her? Can you I, I was her? not actually, uh, like, on the side of her. Okay. I was actually on top of what's made it a lot harder for her to resist. Okay. 
Yeah. So are, are you like straddling her or how that's, is that? That's pretty much what it was. I was actually on top of her, on top of her back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when you're stabbing her, you're stabbing her with one hand or two yeah. hands? One hand. What do we say? Okay, the one hand. Okay. Um, so was she wiggling? Like trying to get away from you or? Um, uh. Yeah, yeah, she did try to uh, put up a fight. Yes, okay. Did. did you tell her who you were, or did you say anything to her? Well, um, yeah, actually, I did. What but did you thing, say? The thing was, is, uh, it was, like, a different form of myself, though. Okay. It's not like how you are. The thing is, is that uh, I don't know if she told you, I don't know how much she told you about me, but... The me you're talking to right now is my normal good self, and that's the reason I feel the guilt I do. Okay. But the one who actually did all this, the thing is, I originally, the good side of me, originally refused to do it. Okay. And that's the reason why it was instant that it happened right away. Okay. Because my evil side is what actually did it. Okay. And, uh, what was it? He's, the one thing he said was, uh, you're dead to me, is one thing he said. Who said? That part of me said. Okay. My evil side of me said. Okay. And uh, he said. No, I want to know what I want to know what you said. Did you was you saying anything to D? No, I didn't say anything to D. Just that side of me was out. Wasn't me. Okay. Did your did that other side say something to D? Yes. What did that other side say? The other side. Uh, that's one of the things that the other side said was was you're dead to me. That's okay. one of the things. Okay. What else? Oh my gosh, there's so many things that I can't remember them all up. Were you just saying them, saying them, saying them, saying them? Um, uh... You know how some people sometimes just ramble, ramble, ramble? No. Okay. No, I didn't ramble. Okay. But, uh... I think one of the things he said was, stop resisting, you know you're dead. Okay. It's, I think that's one of the other things he said. Well, it's you that's saying it. I know, I know, but it's, it's, the, the thing is, is that I have You just got angry. More yeah. than one person inside me. There's actually multiple personalities of myself. Have you been diagnosed with that? I probably should be diagnosed with it because it has happened. The thing is, I used to take a medication. Okay. Because I used to hear voices in my head. Okay. And it went away, then it somehow went as part of myself. Okay. So. Does Gypsy know that? Yes. Okay. She does know that. Okay. Because some people use that as an excuse to cover up for the bad things that they do. So if that's what you're doing, that probably no, isn't not, a good I'm idea. Not, that's not, not that's not being a man and standing up and and, and doing what's right if you're gonna do Well that. that's the, like I said, I told her I would I, my part of me you're talking now, my goods part of me. I refuse to do it. And I told her either... Well, it is the good part of you what got you on a bus and brought you to Springfield, Missouri to kill D? Well, it was, uh... Yeah, it was to actually see her, but as for the killing part, that was solely my evil side. Okay. Solely. I agree with you. That was your evil side. But I don't know how... I don't know... I mean, your evil side was with you when you made the decision to get on the bus and exactly. come to exactly. the Springfield, Missouri. I agree Missouri. with you on that. I okay. do agree with you on that. Okay. And your evil side was with you whenever you decided to clean up your blood from yeah. the house. Okay. Yeah. But, and not, you didn't kill Gypsy, so your good side must have been there too, because you didn't kill Gypsy, because you love her, right? Actually, it's because uh, the Gypsy likes to call her uh, well, her more, um, I'm guessing her mom didn't really know about this side of her, but she has an evil side of herself as well. She likes to call her uh, Ruby. That's what she likes to call her. Okay. But um, one of the things he said to her is never get between me and Ruby, is what he said. Because uh, I guess that there's more than one of the sides of each other that is uh, in love with each other. So... I got one uh, side of her, his name is Kitty. It's like a little girl inside of her. Um, you got uh, another one called Candy. Is this, wait a minute, is this like some kind of sex thing that you guys do? No. Okay, so when you guys have sex with each other, are you Nick and she's Gypsy? 
Pretty much, but the thing is, is that uh, we don't remember. It, sometimes you might not remember, but the thing is, is I've only experienced my evil side coming out one time to actually do the what it happened. Oh, okay. So this is the first time you experienced the evil side coming out. Was yeah. watching what you did on yeah. that night. Okay. Yeah. So your evil side hasn't came out before and caused you to do anything. No, nothing like that. No. Okay, just just this one time. Yeah. Okay. Um. And how old are you again? 26. 26. So in 26 years, your evil side never came out and hurt anybody or did anything else except for on this night. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the ways that you guys communicated. I know you said that you communicated on that Christian mm -hmm. website. Then you guys created communicated on Facebook. And then did you say you created, communicated Yahoo in your text messages, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, so one thing that I do know is that there were some Facebook posts um, put on that were that were kind of explaining that somebody got hurt. Do you kind of know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about on D's web or Facebook? Yeah, D's and uh, Gypsy's, Gypsy's uh, yeah. Facebook. Okay, so who posted those things on there? I didn't even know the password, so she's the only one that knows it. It's only only she could post it. Okay, do you know what they say? Um, I read it, but I don't remember what it said. Okay. So, you didn't post them on there? No. Okay. Did she post them on there? Yes, she did. Okay. Why did she do that? I think she wanted to speed up the process. Speed up what process? The process of, uh, uh, the authorities getting involved and everything else. Okay. Did you know she made those posts before she made them? Uh, she kind of surprised me with it. Okay. And how did that happen? Um, uh, she showed me it just after she posted it. I'm like, what the heck? And she kind of freaked me out. Okay. Uh, and I didn't do anything about it, obviously. Did your evil side come out then? No. No? Okay. Um, so, you, um, she posts them. Are you in the same room with her when she does it, or are you somewhere yeah. different? We're in the same room. You're in the same room with her? Yeah. And then, so, she makes the post. And then, obviously, you've seen all those people responded to that. Yeah. Okay, did you do any of those posts? How about the one about killing and raping or no. whatever? You didn't do that? No. Okay. She, I think she only posted that to actually get everyone's attention. Why? Because apparently the first uh, posts that she was, or not posted, or was it posted? I don't even know what was posted. I just trying to remember what she told me. Okay. Um, did you actually look at it with your eyes, the posts? I didn't get to see the posters. That's the thing. Oh. That's the reason why I can't remember it that well. Okay. She just told you about them. Yeah. Because apparently the first ones that she posted, no one was taken seriously. Okay. So she had to be more aggressive, and that's when she said what she did. Okay. Okay. And what, what, I don't understand what she was hoping to gain. Like, what was she wanting to happen as a result of that? I think she just wanted to get uh, past this uh, moment. Get, oh, okay. She wanted it to be a distant memory. Okay. She did she suspect that if she did something like that, we would investigate it and come and speak to you guys about it? Uh, did I, you guys ever discuss that? I think we both did, but we didn't understand exactly how to go deal with it to the point where we wouldn't get caught. I think that's another no reason why we're easily caught. But yeah. Okay. Do you feel like you were easily caught? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you feel like she was easily caught? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you think that if, if Gypsy hadn't asked you to kill her mom, you'd ever killed her mom? I know I wouldn't have done it. Okay. You just did it because you loved Gypsy and Gypsy asked you to do it. Yes. Is that what I'm thinking? Yes. Okay. Or what? Is that what I understand? <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry to confuse you. Um, okay. So, um, where is your bedroom at in that house that, you, that they arrested you in? It was... Uh, uh, upstairs. Okay, so if I walk through the front door of your house, where do I go? Uh, if you go, um, you would turn, uh, take a turn right. Okay, so I come to the front door and make a right. And when you turn right, you'll see, uh, stairs, you walk up the stairs, you turn, uh, left, and the room right at the end is where my room is. Okay, so I come in the front door and make a right, go up the stairs, make a left. And then go, uh, straight, uh, to the last one that's in front of you, okay. and that's my room. What's your room decorated like? Um, I, it was supposed to be my mom's room. Um, uh, yeah, my mom's room. Uh, after a while, because they were supposed to be building a room for me in the basement. Okay. So it's 
Purple. Purple? Okay. Yeah, purple and, uh, is it the only purple room in the house? Uh, no, I believe you. there's another one, which is uh, where my mom's room is right now. Is that upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. So your room would be the only purple room upstairs? Yep, upstairs. Okay. okay. Um, did you guys hide anything else? Um, yes, actually we did. Okay. What is that? We, uh, hid, uh, um, the savings of, uh, what Gypsy and her mom saved up together. Right. Okay. Um, where did you guys hide that at? Uh, we put it back into our, uh, backpack. Okay. So all the, all the money's in her backpack. Yep. And where did you guys get that money at from the house? Uh, it was, uh, in a, uh, a dresser drawer. Okay. And it was in a pouch. In a pouch in a dresser drawer? Yeah. Was the dresser drawer in Dee's room or Gypsy's room? Uh, Dee's room. Dee's room. And is it in a dresser like that has a lot of dress, a lot of drawers or one drawer or two drawers? One drawer. Okay. So the dresser has one drawer? Yeah. Okay. And where is that located at in the bedroom? If I remember when you walk into the bedroom, it should be right on your right side. Okay. Yeah, that's right in front of you. Okay. There was a safe in Dee's room, wasn't there? Um, I believe there was, but I, it seemed like somehow most of the money somehow Gypsy got out of the safe or something because we had a lot of money. Okay. When you say a lot of money, what's a lot of money? Thousands. Thousands? Is, do you still have thousands? Uh, we barely even used any of it. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, when you guys were in Springfield, I'm sorry I'm jumping around, but I'm afraid that I'll forget to ask you something. Okay. Um, when you guys were in Springfield, I know that you say you went to um, Waffle House. Yes. And you ordered pizzas. Yes. Did you go to a Walmart? Uh, yes. Okay, and when did you go to a Walmart? Um, we went to Walmart. Oh, when the heck was that? Oh, we went to Walmart. It was... Uh, the day before we were supposed to leave, so okay. I'm guessing like the lobby, I'm guessing. Okay, what did you guys get at Walmart? Um, uh, I got, uh, uh, how many was it? I know I had at least, to be like on the safe side, I for sure had at least one two liter of uh, 7 up. Okay. And I also got a condom, and she wanted me to also get, uh, what else did she want me to get? Um, that I got for her, um, uh, Oh, lip balm. That's okay. what it is. Um, did she go in the store with you or not with you? Or? No, she didn't want to go in the store because she knew that uh, she had friends in there and she would uh, ask uh, her if that was, if, if she was very gypsy, is that you? Yeah, she okay. was afraid of it. Okay. Um, and so did you go to Walmart once or more than once? Uh, more than once. Okay. And did you go to the same Walmart? Yep. Okay. Um, is that Walmart located by the hotel? It's pretty close to the hotel. Do you walk there, or did you ride in a cab, or something different? Um, with her, I had to ride in a cab. Okay. So the cab would come pick you up, take you to Walmart, and then bring you back? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you go anywhere else in Springfield? Um, we did uh, go to the post office, too. Okay. And is the post office by the hotel, or somewhere different? Uh, I can't remember the name of the street at the time. Okay. It's not somewhere close to the hotel. I guess it was the closest one to the hotel. What did, did the cab come, and you said, take me to the post office? Yeah, we uh, asked the cab driver to take us to the closest one there was to the hotel. Okay. You said one time that you were in room, what, 227? Yeah. Did you ever stay in a different room? Yes. Okay, what room was that? That one right next to 226. 226. And why did you switch rooms? Because we ended up um, uh, checking out when we didn't uh, realize that okay. uh, the whole bus situation happened, and that's why okay. it turned into what it did. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, what was your plan with the money that you guys took? Um, uh, we were going to use it as a savings to, uh, pretty much uh, get whatever we needed, uh, set up. So we were really going to just use it as, uh, the heck, how do you describe it? Like a nest egg type thing? Well, it was more like to, like, uh, help each, uh, each other, uh, build up and save more. And okay. Yeah, that was pretty much what it was. How did you know where the money was at in Dee's room? She told me. Okay, did you get it um, before you killed Dee or after you killed Dee? After. Okay, and she told you which drawer it was? Yep. Did she ever come into the bedroom? She she did. just refused, no matter okay. what, she refused. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Um, and your clothes are still in your duffel bag. We talked about that. Yeah. Um, we sure talked about a lot. Yes, we did. <laughs> Is there anything that we haven't talked about that you think we probably should? No. Okay. I tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out real quick, okay. um, and then I want you to think about that, okay, while I'm gone, okay. is to think about is there anything that you haven't told me that you might should, or we haven't talked about something that you wish we would talk about, okay? okay. I'll step out, and then you think about that, and I'll be right back, okay? okay. Oh, I gotta tell her that. It's only a wrinkle without a one in the name. Tell her. I realize you're not a female talking to me. I realize a female deputy. Or. To talk to me, I'm so out of it. I'm so out of it. I'm so worried about her tipsy dog. I'm going to ask her a question, a question that maybe she can explain to me in answer to. I'm going to ask her, besides being honorable, what does truth, where does the truth get me besides that? Because the reason I ask this is because uh, me and Gypsy planned on my way through this. Because we didn't want to, because we didn't know how much you guys knew. We knew how much you guys knew. We would have probably, probably perfected it. The first thing I know was when I wanted to, so she came down. I had to wait for her now. So I just didn't come back in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see her. I really don't know. Alright. I thought it was a couple more questions. Did you think anything that you wanted to talk about? Uh, yeah, actually I did. Okay. Because, uh, that's pretty much what me and Gypsy talked about before we got here. Okay. Um, I just have a question based on, uh, well, uh, like, truth versus lie is pretty much what it is. Okay. What I was wondering is, um, when it comes to, like, uh, um, telling them the truth, other than being honorable, we're also a kid. Because I honestly don't understand. Okay, I, I, wait a minute, I don't understand your question. Say it again. My, I was, well, I was kidding. I said, um, other than um, 
telling the truth, uh, other than being honorable, where else will he get me? Well, I don't really know. I mean, it is, it's honorable to do, to do the right thing. I don't know, like, my job isn't to know what's going to happen to you. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, my job is to talk to you and, um, and get the facts of this stuff, the situation, make sure it matches the evidence, and then um, talk to you about any other time you might have done something like this or how we could keep this from happening again, you know, things yeah. like that. So yeah. um, have you ever done anything like this before? No. Nope. Okay. Have you ever killed anyone else? Uh, no. Are you sure? I know I haven't. Are you positive? Yes. Have you thought about killing someone? Well, I might have had the thoughts go in my head, but I've never actually done it until uh, it happened to Didi. Okay. Do you think he'll ever kill anyone else? Um, I can't see it happening. Okay. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you about um, Dee again. Um, when she was on the bed and after you had stabbed her, did you ever stick your fingers inside of her or touch her uh, private areas with your hands? No. Her breast or her... Her anus or her no. vagina? None of that stuff. Never touched any of it with your hands? No. Okay. Uh, would you remember that if you did? Yes, I would. Okay. Um, so would there be no reason that your DNA would be inside her vagina or her anus? Correct. Okay. Did you stab her in the vagina or anus no. with a knife? Okay. No. Okay. Um, when, we, um, when we found Dee's body in the house... There was several bottles of blue liquid, like in a, like a, bottles that had like blue liquid in them and spray bottles. Do you know what those were? One was sitting in the middle of the hallway by a hat. hat. Oh my gosh. Um, I... There was like a black, I think, New Orleans hat. Do you remember seeing that? I don't remember seeing the black one that, no. Okay. But And you don't know about the blue spray bottles? They look like cleaning bottles or something. I don't know. You don't remember seeing those? Well, um, she did try to use, uh, um, I mentioned those wipes earlier. Mm -hmm. She tried to use those to get rid of my blood off of things as well. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe that's, that's what it is. Um, uh. Okay, something that is really important is when you guys were leaving, when you guys, after you had stabbed Dee, after you guys had had sex, after you guys had packed up your stuff, or um, no. gypsy stuff, gypsy. did you guys ever go back to make sure that she was actually dead? Um, I must admit that part of me I mentioned before, uh, before um, I even did the... The one, not, two, three, not, scratch, 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 yeah. The two, no, three, not two scratches. Before I uh, remember him doing it, as I remember only so much at a time, that's, because what I remember is, I remember the, the three knocks and the two scratches, but the part I don't remember, is the only reason why I know about how many times it was, she was stabbed and everything else, is because it was him talking to me. Okay. Um, whenever, um, did you ever pull the blanket down to make sure she was dead? No. Okay, did you ever move the blankets or do anything to the blankets that were on her body? No. Okay. Did you, you didn't cover her back up or take any covers off of her or anything like that? No. Okay. After you got off of her from stabbing her, after you, you know, you were on her and you were stabbing her, after you get off, got off of her and left the room, did you ever get back on her and do anything else to her? No. Okay. But, uh, while I was waiting for Gypsy to get out of the bathroom, uh -huh. uh, I, uh, remember that part of me, because I could remember myself just pacing constantly, 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 okay. back and forth, up and down the hallway. Waiting for Gypsy to get done? Yes, and while I was doing that, my, because that entire time my other part of me was out, but um, the thing was is that it kept on glancing to make sure Gyps uh, Gypsy's mom was dead. Okay, you kept looking to see if she was dead? Yeah. Okay. Did she move or anything? No. She didn't Did she move. say anything? No. Okay. Did anybody ever try to call 911 to get help? 
Uh, no. Okay, you guys didn't call an ambulance for her or anything like that? No. Okay. Um, so you hit the money and you hit the knife. Um, when you hit the money and hit the knife, was that was that your evil side or whatever doing that? Or was that just you doing that or what? Well, um, that part there is me because I felt the guilt that I didn't want okay. to be caught with either. Does your mom and stepdad know what you did? Uh, no, they don't. And this is the first time they ever met Gypsy? Uh, yeah, in person, yes. Okay. Um, and they agreed to let her live there? No. Yep. Okay. Do you think they're going to be shocked about what you did? Uh, they think of me as an innocent type, so they probably wouldn't uh, ever expect it. Okay. Have they ever seen you get evil and do any, any anything evil in 26 no. years? No? No. Never done anything like that? No. Okay. All right. Um, did you think of anything else that you wanted to talk about? Um, yes. Um, uh, the, I wanted to just mention this because this is what, um, before we came here, me and Gypsy did come here. Um, before uh, we both let uh, them take us into custody. Uh, the reason why at first, I just want to throw this out. Okay. The reason why at first I was lying is because I thought me and her agreed on a lie story. Yeah, most people do agree on the lie story. And that's the reason why I went with it. Yeah, I know. And then I learned that she told yeah. everything, so I just let it all out. What was, the, um, what was the lie story you guys came up with? I'm always interested in that. Because they never work. <laughs> but what was your plan? like? What we uh, were, was going to say was that um, first uh, I got into Springfield uh -huh. by the bus, okay. came to the hotel, and then uh, me and her were texting each other while she was uh, out on the streets. And uh, while that was going on, uh, she... Uh, uh, asked me for her, uh, on my, uh, I asked, my gosh. See how it is when you start telling lies? It gets confusing, doesn't it? No, I'm getting confused because I'm so tired. Okay. Um, she was supposed to make it seem as if she asked for my room number, so this way she goes straight to my room. Okay. And then after that, um, even though I know that was a lie. Did you guys send fake texts back and forth to try to help build up this story? <laughs> That's the thing, and that's the reason why I said I knew it was a lie. Okay. And that's part of the reason why I, I, I wasn't sure she didn't tell she was right or not. Because I was ready to tell you that way, but I just didn't know she did. Yeah. Because I'm trying to follow along with the full thing, whether it's the truth or not the truth. It, it, it just, I want to make sure that I get the full story straight with what, what she says, too. So. Okay. Do you yeah. think you've done that so far? I only hope I did, because I've told only nothing but the truth. Okay. If you could go back and change something, what would you do? Uh, I would have, uh, the thing is, is, this is something that me and Gypsy have talked about at least a, at least a hundred times since me and I have been able to live together these days that she's been able to be with me. Um, I kept on uh, going back and I kept on asking her, because this is the question I kept on asking her before, I asked her if she was, I was the one who actually asked her before we even did this killing that happened. Uh huh. I was the one who actually asked her, are you sure you want me to do this? Okay. And then she said yes. And after she said yes, uh, that's the rest of the story already you know. Okay. But um, the question I kept on asking her besides that, uh, I asked her, are you willing to risk everything to have everything you ever want? Okay. And... Uh, that's part of the reason why she uh, risked uh, her old life to have one with me. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so, you didn't really answer my question. If you could go back and change any one thing about what has happened, what would you change? Oh, uh, how this happened? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Would you change anything? Well, the thing is, is I would rather not kill the DD of the truth. Because that's the part that's like the main thing I regret the most out of the entire thing. Okay. 
Okay, sometimes what I like to do is when people are cooperative and they tell the truth and they tell their story, um, I like to offer them the opportunity to write an apology letter. Um, and you can write that letter to anyone that you want that's most important, whether you write it to your mom or you want to write it to um, Dee Dee's family or you want to write it to Gypsy or you want to write it to anyone. Okay. Then I like to give people that opportunity. Is that an opportunity you would like to take advantage of? Yeah, I would do it. Okay. Would you like to do that right now? Um, I don't know what I would say because... Do you want some time to sit in here and think about it? Because i got to get a camera because i got to take some pictures of you. I can leave you alone to do that if you'd like to do that. Um, oh, geez. <laughs> you think that's too hard to do? You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. That's just something that I allow you to do if you wish to do. I mean, I, I, I do feel the guilt where I, I feel like doing it. I really do feel like doing it. I just, okay. I just hey, how about how this? How about we do this? It. If you don't want to express it on a piece of paper, tell me, tell me now, if you had to apologize to someone for what has happened, who would you apologize to? The thing is, is I, I do feel bad for uh, Gypsy's family. I really do feel bad for them. I do feel bad for Gypsy. Heck, I feel bad for all Gypsy's friends. I, there's so many people that... You know, so you would apologize bad. to all of them people? I, I, yeah, I'd try to apologize as much as I could. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to go get a camera. I'm going to take some pictures of you, and then we can see what's going to happen from there, okay? Oh, jeez, I'm nervous. Okay. Well, I know you're nervous, but um, you've done what's right. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat this? No. Okay. Let me get a camera and I'll take some pictures of you, okay? Okay. And um, I didn't have a request for uh, one of the detectives. Okay. Which was to go the whole gypsy one time. Hold this. Gypsy one time after this. Okay. Yes. I'll see you. Uh, do you remember who that was that you talked to about that? Um, uh, It was one, I think. Detective, his name was Detective Brad, I think is what he called him. So, okay. Detective Brad, I don't know. Uh, uh, there was also another one. I asked a lot of them. I asked uh, Detective Brad, Detective Todd. Okay. I can't remember the third one. Let me go see if um, that's something that they want to do. Okay. okay. That's pretty much up to them. I don't care one way or the other. If, if they want to do that, I'm okay with that. So let me go ask, okay? Okay. But first, before that could even happen, I have to take pictures of you. Okay. okay? Um, I have a question. Yeah. Was wondering um why do you have to take pictures? Just so I'm clear on that. Okay. The reason I want to take pictures is because I see these injuries on you. Yeah. Remember you told me that you cut yourself whenever you were stabbed at D? Yeah. So I want to take a picture of that. Okay. And then you said that you had an injury right here from you yeah. that got re injured. So I just want to take pictures of you for that. Okay. Do you have injuries anywhere else? Um not that hard, no. Do you have any marks that, that Gypsy did? did to you or anything that she did to you? Um, you want me to photograph or? No. Okay. Are you sure you're not hurt anywhere or anything? Other than where I'm already been at Joe and home. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Hey, how are you? Well, hey, I'm Craig. Great, Kenny. Let's start taking some photos. This is Detective Hancock with yeah. my sheriff's office. Yeah, I just office. introduced myself to him. Okay. okay. Can you do me a stand up for me just real quick? All right. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Let's go back just a little bit for me so I can get some full body shot up there. A little bit more. Kind of one. Okay. There you go, right there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, put your feet together. Go like that. Put your hands out like this. Okay. Um, put your hands over like this. Okay, let's kind of look up. Got anything on your face? Any scratches, marks, or anything? Um, not that I'm aware. Okay. Um, how about your feet? Anything on your feet? Uh, this foot, yes. Right there? Yeah, I see the scratch. Yeah, how'd you get that? Um, that was uh, from me uh, getting arrested earlier. Oh, okay. I put your feet like this again. Okay. Are you able to peel those babies back? Let me see the wounds that you got on there. Yeah, there you go. Ah. I know. It's, I. How about. Uh, I. I. The thing is. Yeah. 
you do it quick. What, what's, what's the reason? Scratches or is it open wounds or what? These are uh, open wounds. Oh, no, not open wounds. There's are uh, uh, irritation burns. And then over You're here... burns from what? Because uh, I... By the way, I hit the ground. Oh, okay. It made me... It's like a rug burn. Oh, okay. Okay, what about your fingers? Well, this one, uh, I got it because of uh, they were taking my uh, blood. Okay. And this one was from the knife? Yep. Okay, can you undo that one? Is that possible? Yeah, I can do this one. Okay. Oh, where the heck is Right there. Yeah, right there. Okay.
Done. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. I couldn't remember what they were. Taking the screw. I'm freaking screwed. I did that for her and only for her. Not just for us. So yeah, it was for us. I wanted to get it if it wasn't for us. So it was the only way to be together. Everyone, everyone, I, everyone except for Dan. Dan's the only one I would not apologize to. Apparently, she decided to just go with it. Like, screw it. Me, I actually held together until. Well, I was when she didn't know it. I said, screw it, I just said, truth them too. All that time, and I'm finally in the blood bath. The thing is, is if I tell the truth, I just did it. Yeah, it, 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 it flipping sucks just having to say it. Best possible outcome to this is possible. I wonder what it is. I want to know what it is. She said she gets the best love for me as possible. The reason I said all this is because the better is just let it alone. I honestly don't think there's anything else I could do anyway. situation at all. I mean, I feel horrible. I mean, I miss Gypsy going in my mind. The thing is, is that she kind of... That's what's in the technique, but then... It's like the truth. I don't know if she did it because she lives in a good universe. 
I have a question for that lady. Does she even want to see me? I feel like she betrayed me. What is that lady? She says she's going to be right back. So we can go to us to jump back in. She's probably crying because she realized what she did for me. Can someone really check on Gypsy for me, please? Not this weird villain, she's freaking crying because she did for me. I don't know if it's something to do with Netflix. I know the music there is too pleading. I'm 
me to use it the first time. Let's see if it works. I hope she comes back in here soon. So she had to come back. I can't believe this. I better build a sea gypsy. I just want to build all there and tell her. As long as I can't find a shitty fight on me, I bet you can. Because right now you made me take the fall. You say you're sorry. Should have realized it meant that you were going to let me take the fall.
Doesn't look like we can die here tonight. It doesn't. I wish, I really wish that just you can say hi to me. I wish I could just walk onto it and I'd be like, oh. The thing is, I already feel guilty. There's no reason to punish me for something I'm already guilty of. Makes no sense. Punish someone for something they already know they're guilty of? Maybe they know it and they learn a lesson and they don't do it again? They don't need to sentence me to anything. It's a one time thing, I'll never kill again. I freaking waited 26 years if we can kill one person. I hope that's the only person I ever had to kill. Because if it ever ever has to. Checklist, can you stand up for me, please? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and leave the blanket there. Stand here and face the wall for me. Okay. Right, Thanks for this wall on your back. Stop coming. Let's just run out there. We're going to be moving you up to a different place. We're just going to hang out for a little bit, okay? Okay, um. Uh, Let's go in on exactly, sir. Well, I don't know, um, but we don't have a facility or, or appropriate place for you to sleep down here. So we're going to um, be just taking you up to a location where you're going to be able to relax. Uh, 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 it don't turn around for me. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. No, it's just... All right, can you separate your feet, please? Yes. Anything on you at all? Nope. Just need to perform a pat down on a search, okay? Okay. I was hoping I would have gotten to see Gypsy one more time. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen tonight, okay? Tonight? I was... Uh, uh, the thing is, uh, sir, is that I know that this is going to be a long wait for me. Okay. And that's the reason why I was hoping I would have going to at least get to see her this one more time before that I, long wait. I happened. don't have it in my power to make that happen for you. Um, so, unfortunately, right now, just given the, what's, what's all going on, okay, because it's still all in the works, we don't want you guys to talk, okay, well, um, maybe down the road that might happen, but not right now, okay? Oh, uh, the other detective, I thought she was supposed to come back in here, I'll say she's not coming back in, or? Oh, uh, she, she'll talk to you in the morning. In the morning. Oh, yeah. she's live. Yep. And do you step out of here for me? Okay. Yeah, we're driving.